Okay, this is the updated video of the 81 Toyota 4x4 bug out vehicle. <laughs> Here's a little truck, good little truck. Pretty low miles. I've got a a gun rack in there, you know, for fishing poles, guns or whatever, and there's a nice tool bag behind the seat, a jumper box that plugs into the uh one of the extra outlets, there's a CB radar detector and a GPS unit. This is the new camper that I put on because the old one was just too low. So now I've got a high top in here. There's a CB antenna. The window is open. Um, quick video here. I mounted a high lift jack, five gallons of fuel, and then I put on this nice folding step here, which I kind of like. You see this cord here. This is kind of an easy, cheap idea. There's shore power, it's plugged in. So here's the the camper. It's got a little porch light, and then it's got one on each side. If you're in there, there's a switch up there by your head you can flick on. I might have to turn on some lights. It's got some cabinets here, and it still has the carpet kit that you can put all your gear in and that goes to the one up there one up there and then one here got all my food here fire starters tools got my fishing poles little bug out bag some extra shoes there it's comfortable I got some pillows and some nice bedding I did go for a couple of aluminum folding chairs and a nice super lightweight aluminum table. It's kind of nice to have a table to prep your food or whatever you're doing. So I'm going to come in here. There's an 800 watt inverter. I have a battery underneath this carpet kit way up in the front. And there for the shore power is just a strip plug. And anytime I run shore power, you'll see that cord right here. I've got to tuck it behind there, but it's a battery charger that comes on trickle anytime you plug in. So it's charging my batteries anytime I plug it in there. And then the other one, I just silicone this thing on there so there's a little duct tape there, but that's a weather band radio which I think it's a good idea up here in the northern panhandle to have that especially with the up and coming months but this is a really comfortable little bug out little bug out camper there's my hydration pack turned out pretty nice I put some paper towels there got the essentials first aid and all the hygiene in that cabinet there which worked out good. EpiPen and uh, Venom Extractor which I had to use the other day and uh, that works out nice so this is my little bug out camper. It was just a short little canopy. I ended up having to take the tailgate off. So I lost the tailgate in this but that's okay because it actually turned out pretty good. Then up on top here, I just mounted these, I mounted four of those in case I want to tie a, you know, a deer or quarter up an elk and tie it up there. So that worked out pretty good. So this is the updated little Toyota. This is a pretty light little camper for Toyota. It works out good, so. As far as equipment goes, I still have to kind of go through and make a video for that. I've got a lot of equipment tucked in these cabinets and whatnot. Water purifiers, fire sticks, fire starters. Got little tiny micro stoves. Lots of food, lots of food that keeps MREs. Um, just things that you would need. So. That's it in a nutshell. A little high top canopy turned into a camper. It's got a little radio in there, so there's the antenna. 
trying to go micro so I get some good fuel economy. That's it. Good luck.